Good afternoon. I was trying to go live at noon. But, um, you know, everything happens. The dog wants to go out. The mailman comes up the driveway. <laughs> anyway, I am going live today to share a fun class because I love these cards. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure I'm where I'm supposed to be. <clears throat> My name is Susie Jewell. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I have for you the Forever Friends card kit. Um, and it looks like I'm there. Everything looks good. Just putting my hands in here to say hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I am live on Friday at noon and I, that's not normally what I do, but I am gonna be off from work on Fridays now. So my schedule's always changing. Um, my family's always throwing in things. Things are always happening in this house that I never know what's gonna happen. So we're kind of on the fly Friday today. And um, let me just see how my sound is. Work. Sounds good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna share this over in my group. <clears throat> so I'm trying a new thing. I want to be able to offer card classes and I want to be able to offer them to go as well. Um, if you're my local friends and you like to stamp with me, we can definitely get together. We just, we need to set a time ahead. I don't have a set class schedule right now because work's picked up and we're short staffed. So isn't that the, isn't that the drill anywhere? Um, so, so right now I have Fridays and Sundays where I can, um, I can get together and um, maybe even a Saturday if I'm not scheduled. And that's the other thing. Some days I don't get scheduled. So, but it's a last minute thing and I can let you know if you want to get together in person to do a card class just give me a shout out and um we'll figure out a time we got to put it on the calendar for it to work so however I do want you to be able to get these things and do them at home we could always zoom and do your cards together on zoom or on a messenger chat or whatever um Yes. Oh, I'm trying to figure out where to share this. More options. <laughs> um, share to a group. Okay. I'm trying to do three things at once. And my AADD is um, kicking in high gear. So there we go. All right. I want to go to this group and share this. Okay, cool. Um, so... I will share, so this host code right here, so if you want this class free, you can get it free, but you need to purchase um, 30, $35 or more, my online store. This is my online store, and you need to use this host code, and if you need help going online on how to use that host code, I can help you with that, and you will get these six cards free. We have three designs, two of each card. And um, they'll, they're free with your purchase. So this is what's really cool. Um, all right. So the Forever Friends, the reason I'm doing the Forever Friends is this is one of the Stampin' Up! kits that you can order that has everything in the box that you need to make these eight cards. And I did these cards. I just, uh, I just loaded a video. I'm loading a video right now to YouTube of me making these cards in the park. Of course, my sound wasn't very good. There's a lot going on. You can hear the seagulls. and But you get to make these eight cards. This is so, this is so pretty. I just love these shimmery, shine. I love anything glimmer. So these are pretty cards. And of course, I was going to do the kit as is, as instructed, as they tell you to make them. And um, I like fun folds a little bit too much. So this one card I had to play with, I had to do this fun fold card. So it goes like that. So I haven't finished the inside. I'm going to put a sentiment down here and it'll actually be an easel card. It will stand up. Isn't that fun? It's so simple and so easy. But I like cards that'll stand up. People can put it on their shelf and they can look at it and enjoy that they got that card in the mail. So I'm going to get started. So I used these the, the stamps from this kit. 
And these are them. They're all on my blocks right now, but this is kind of what they what they say. Forever friends, sending lots of hugs. Um, nobody gets me like you get me. I'm always here for you no matter what. And you can do hard things. And um, this is really interesting timing that I, I got this kit because I actually won this kit at a demonstrator event. I entered my card into a contest that the all the other um, attendees got to vote on. Um, and it was the, you know, something stamping stamper or something awesome, awesomeness thing. So this was the card I entered. This is a pop-up card that I did for my husband's 60th birthday. And he likes lighthouses and he was a sea scout. So we always do things with that kind of stuff. And that's kind of why um, I love anchors and things like that. <clears throat> so this pops up like this. And then I put this little calendar with his birth date underneath there. And then, you know, the little sides are decorated. I've got an anchor over here. I just had a lot of fun decorating this card. And, of course, on the back, I signed it. And, uh, yeah, this is a great card. So so I, I won this kit. And I opened it up. And I got it all ready. And I was like, um... Dude, dude, there's no stamps in there. So I think this happened to a lot of people. They accidentally did not put the stamps inside. So if you order this kit and don't see the stamps, get get a hold of Stampin' Up! right away. They'll send them out to you quickly. This is the first card we're going to do. Actually, I can show you all three. So this is card number one. This is card number two. And this is card number three. And you'll get all everything you need cut for you die cut these little die cuts are going to be done for you um you'll get all the bows and um everything you need to put this card together um, the only thing you'll have to have is the ink and the blocks and this this card kit so that would be what you would want to order to do this card kit so we'll start with this one this is kind of my favorite i think um <clears throat> I love this, the saying, so I know there's a tag in there somewhere. <laughs> I love the sayings in this, this kit. And I have a very good friend who's, um, who, who loves making cards with me and, um, she's in the hospital. And so we need prayers for my friend, Marlene. She, she is one of those, one of my forever friends and she has always been there for me and, um, She's been a rock to lean on, and she's been fun to be with, and um, I could always count on her. Um, and so, and sh she gets me. Nobody does get me that much like she does. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp. We've got the flower, and I am using um, Calypso Coral. No. I'm not using that one. Clips will curl on a different card. I'm using Flirty Flamingo, um, Petal Pink, and um, <clears throat> Night of Navy. And I can't tell if anyone's watching. If you're watching, say hello. Curl on a different card. There I'm we using go. Flirty Flamingo. And, um, Let's turn that off. <laughs> I can't tell if there's comments. Now I can. Or if anyone's here. And I hope my video is in good, in good context because I am, I am loading my other video to YouTube right now, and my head is not the happiest. So we're gonna start with the flower, and that flower is done in um, flirty flamingo and petal pink. And I am just gonna stamp this guy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this paper. I don't wanna get ink on my pad. The photopolymer stamps need a little padding. They don't have the rubber and they don't have the wood block like the old stamps used to. So these guys need a little pad and I like to put a paper there. So I wanna go off the edge like so. <laughs> I don't get it on my pad. And I'm just gonna turn this flower and put it here. And then I'm gonna do one over here. 
and then do one in the corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch to Petal Pink. <clears throat> Close that up. So I didn't design this class. I, I am in a training um, with Rhonda Wade. She has a training group called Creating Success. <clears throat> and I get the ideas for these card classes from her because I am, there is what, what is called um, an avid stamper. A simple stamper and then you know the middle of the road and I like Avid I do a lot of Avid stuff <clears throat> I think I want one, one more of these right here okay that's that flower now I'm gonna do the little blue what do you call these little things they look like little feet to me <laughs> They're little tiny flowers. I'm going to do them in the night of navy. And we're just going to pop them around. Turn them. Place them wherever. Um, so lots of things I want to share with you today. Because there's a lot going on in our Stampin' Up! world. It's the end of the month and the end of our promotion. It's the last day to, and I don't want to put that there. I think that's good. I might stick another one right here. I might cover it up with the, I don't know. So it's not perfect like my other card. It's the same as my other card, which is fine. So then we have the sentiments we are going to stamp on this. I usually have my grid paper down here and I don't today. I like my grid paper because it helps me stamp straight. I'm gonna go for it. Perfect. We're stamping the Forever Friends in Night of Navy. And where is that other stamp? Nobody gets me like you get me. Right here. And I'm going to have to save this for Marlene's birthday because she is definitely my friend that does get me. On the inside, I've got a piece here. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to stamp. I'm always here for you no matter what. Um, that's going to go here. So... I think I got a little bit of a smudge there. So I might just cover that up with a flower or a leaf or something. I'm going to put a leaf there. <laughs> I get ink on my fingers when I'm cleaning my stamps off. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. <clears throat> so now we adhere these to the base. We'll start with the inside. I'm going to close this ink pad up. I like to use my Tombow glue. Oh, that's one of the things you will need. So you're gonna need the basic things to make this card. If you've never stamped before, um, you will need clear blocks to hold your stamps. Um, I think, okay, when you buy this kit though, you will get a clear block in the kit. Because all of the stamping Kit collections have everything you need in them. Yes, so there is a clear block in there. Um, I think this card piece is a little longer than I said. It doesn't, it's not measured right on there. <laughs> you will need adhesives. So I like using my Tombow glue. I like using um, tear and tape. I like using, they do have a, a stamp and seal adhesive that is fun to use. Um, I like the glue because you can adjust. It gives you a second before it dries to adjust it to the, so it's not crooked. 
And then we have our dimensionals um, that pop this up. I'm going to put two of those on here. And glue dots. We will use glue dots. I'm going to put this right, um, right there. It's kind of low. See, I knew I would cover those up. I'm going to put it right there. It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the glue dots for the ribbon. My ribbon is not here. I did not cut a piece. So, <clears throat> so you can order like the kit. And I believe it's, oh, I want to say, I didn't look up the price. I think it's like $24.99. 99 for that kit and you'll get those stamps you keep using the stamps um and then if you spend 35 dollars or more you get these six card kits free with your order and um and i wanted to share that today is the last day for the starter kit special so what is a starter kit stampin up has excuse me, they have a starter kit for um, those of us who want to be demonstrators or hobby demonstrators, or for those of us who just like to get our product and get huge discounts. <laughs> they have an offer today. Normally it's $129 of product that you choose for $99. But right now, all of this month, they had an offer going that is... um. $155 of product you choose for $99, which is a really great way to start if you don't have any of the the stamps or the, the inks or things like that. So, and I will give you a list. So I just put a glue dot on here and I'm just gonna stick it on there like it's tied on that. Hopefully not stick it down, there we go. And let me trim the tails. Um, <clears throat> so if you, if you wanna do this, I've never done it before. You know, I can help you choose what to get to start out with. Um, the other thing was that ends today is there's a paper sale this month. The paper is 15% off, which is really cool. The designer series paper, that is. So this card is done. All right, we'll move on to card number two. And card number two and also when you get these cards for me you will get the free pdf along with the kit and uh okay so card number two is this one i'm going to just like i don't see your comments right now so just leave me comments and i'll i'll get back to you i'm just i want to shut this down because i want to make sure yeah my my video is only up to 10 percent um I want to make sure I'm putting on a good video. I don't have very good Wi-Fi. So. Okay. So, um, the sentiment is I'm always here for you. No matter what. Let's put this card together. These go together very quickly. Might I add. So we like to stamp first. I didn't mention that on the other card. Stamp before you stick. And uh, the reason is because if you make a boo-boos, there's two sides to the paper. So you can turn it over. <laughs> I'm using a scrap. You won't get that on yours. I'm using a scrap that I uh, stamped on the other side. Um, so this card has Calypso Coral and Pretty Peacock. This is one of the new returning colors. It's really awesome. Um, it's so pretty. I love it. <clears throat> so we're going to stamp the flower in the middle of this this circle and this die will be die cut for you. And these are the Stylish Shapes dies. So um, that'll be like that. And I really wanted to stamp this like so. Pretty. Um, and uh, what else? A bit scatterbrained. So yeah, my AADD. I call it AADD because my sister called it AADD. 
It's uh, adult attention deficit disorder. Yeah. So, um, so I have a hard time teaching classes with a lot of people because I can't focus. I can teach with one or two, especially if they're friends. I can just be me. Um, I almost want to do a third flower on here. Like, this is going to go over this right here. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to do anything different than I did before. So on here, got something. Mark. I think it'll be fine. Um... We've got, I'm always here for you, no matter what. But what a great kit this is. I'm trying to center it, I'm hoping my head's not. This is why I like the grid paper underneath here, because I can really make sure it's on there straight. But that's perfect, that worked. Okay, so now we're going to put the pieces together. Or maybe I, let's go ahead and stamp. What did I put on the inside of this card? You can do hard things. Let's do that. I like to make sure my card is complete when I'm making them. Sometimes I leave the sentiment off the inside because I might want to make it something different. Where is that stamp? Right here. You can do hard things. perfectly straight. Voila! Yeah, I keep getting ink splotches right there. See it? <laughs> I had a cleaner out. Where are you? Oh, that's all dry. That's right. I'm going to put a leaf there like I did on the other one because I got the smudge. So you can always fix things like that. Perfect. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, so this piece right here. Oh, I didn't I didn't emboss it ahead of time. You will have this embossed for you. Let me do that now. This is the 3D Basics embossing folders. It comes in a three pack. And if you like to emboss, you will need the embossing machine. We have two sizes. I'm fond of the bigger one because everything we have goes through it. This is the 3D embossing folders. It comes with these three. I like the starry stars, the bubble dots, and then this like this like grid thing, looking thing. I don't know what you call it. And I'm gonna put this through my machine and get that embossed. This will be done for you. So you won't need to get this stuff unless you want it. here and do that real quick. I thought it was totally prepared. But I'm guessing it's not. Okay. So see that? There's that paper. I don't know how well you can see this, but there you go. That's going to get adhered. And let's see. So I'm going to share the host code link in the comments. So if you want these card kits, you the way to get them is by placing an order in my online store using that link. You must use the host code. Um, it's really hard to go back and add host codes to your orders. So make sure you use a host code and that tells me That'll tell me that you want the kit, and I will, I will get that sent up to you. Um, if you do end up spending more than... I need to punch this. I've got the very best trio punch. This will be punched for you as well. Let's go here. To line that up. Sort of like that. And... Um,
if you spend more than fifty dollars, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a spool of the Starry Sky. Um, you can see this Starry Sky metallic ribbon. This is such a pretty. It's so pretty. So you'll get a spool of that free with your order if you go over uh, fifty dollars. Okay, am I on screen still? <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add the twine. How I did this was I'm taking this twine like a little bit longer than that piece. I'm going to double up on it and I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to stick this through the holes like so and I'm going to turn it over and use a glue dot right here. So you could use just regular scotch tape if you don't have glue dots. I'm going to adhere that there, put a glue dot on the other side. Um, yeah, the Tombow glue probably won't hold it tight enough. I'm gonna kind of tug that, stick this through the hole, make sure it's tight on there, and stick that down like that. You can use tear and tape to hold it, that kind of stuff. Okay, and then um, I popped this up with dimensionals. Yes, I'm gonna adhere all the pieces first. So this is gonna go on there like that with glue. Now you can pop up whatever you want, put, put your dimensionals wherever you want them. But this is how I liked it. I'm gonna put that there. And then this is gonna go next, right there. I'm just gonna put glue in the center because I don't want it to get glue and like you won't have the carrots on yours. <laughs> You won't have the glue go off the edge. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's going to be glued all the way down, so it doesn't matter. You put the glue anywhere on there. Never mind that. <laughs> um, okay, and now this guy's going to get popped up with dimensionals. And I'm going to use three. I want it to be popped up the whole way. Boop, boop, boop. Take your pick tool is a really great tool when you want to try to get these papers off. Um, I was going to share my top five favorite tools with you today, too. What a concept. Okay, so now I'm going to take this for my bow. And um, before I attach this to the card, I'm going to make a little bow. Probably should have put it under there without before gluing... <laughs> before gluing this down because I can't get my fingers under there that would have been smart get under there it's pretty tight I'm gonna use my take my pick tool for that watch this come here you gotcha this thing is amazing it's great and there's accessories now so we I've got to get those I don't have them yet Fun little tool. Okay, so now I'm going to tie a bow. Like so. And adjust it right the way I want it. Got some tails here. I also love my snips. And you've got to have two pair of snips because you want to keep these sharp for um, cutting ribbon and the paper dulls it. So I have two, one for ribbon and one for paper. Um, okay, now this is going to go on the card with dimensionals. And this card will be done. I'm going to pop one there, one there, one there, one there, one in the middle, one in the middle. Take these all off. Um, oh, hi, Sheila. 
Nice to see you. I just looked at my phone and saw you were here. I hope you're having a good day. I am enjoying jumping on today because I don't have to work. Okay, so that's card number two. All right, now we're going to go to card number three. So these cards will be available for you for the next week until Friday at midnight. <clears throat> so <laughs> there's a dimensional. They pop up from everywhere. So we have all our little pieces here. Um... Okay, I've got an extra piece. I didn't use that one. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so we've got our tag, and this goes under the tag and our bow. So let's um, go ahead and stamp this one first. Did I do a sentiment? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, we'll go ahead and stamp on here. Um, this is a fun little technique. It's kind of like serendipity stamping and it's one of my favorites so we're going to start out with night and navy um <clears throat> and the flower and the leaf it's there it's way over there I'm like where'd my leaf go so we're going to stamp these in the night of navy <clears throat> kind of all over this paper. Just make, I want to leave a little bit of room for the leaves. Because I want to do leaves in between there. And I think that'll do that. So I'm making kind of a background design and let's see, I want to put some leaves in here. Put that one there. Uh, there. <laughs> Just kind of all over. And put one here. There. There. I'm going to stick one in here. Oh, a lot more leaves than I did on the last card. Right there. Perfect. Pretty fun. <clears throat> and then I'm going to color these in. Oh, wait. Before I do, let me stamp my tag since I've got the blue out. And I'm doing Forever Friends again. This really is a great kit. I love this kit. I could see doing a, a card class with it. Okay. Um, you've been in your stamp room all morning. Woo, I could do that too. I have to get a walk away though. I get tired and I get sore. <clears throat> okay, so I'm taking my dark flirty flamingo and I'm just coloring in my leaves. I'm not really doing any shading or anything. I just want to do quick. You can get really fancy with this coloring these in. But I'm just doing it for fun. Do you like to color? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I don't know. Maybe if I'm on video, I don't really love it. Because now I'm feeling like I got a rush. <laughs> I'm being watched. 
<laughs> um, like, where's that leaf? Right here. I feel like I gotta color that whole thing in there. Weird. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it's weird because like this one part right here doesn't have a just went outside the edges. So I got a tool for that. Let me grab my lifter. My color lifter. I haven't used this in a while. So if you go outside the line, you just do that. It sort of picks it up. It's like magic. Love it. <laughs> love, little, love, love, love it. Okay. And you don't have to be perfect with these flowers. You can just, you know, this would be fun to watercolor. I'm just trying not to get the leaves pink because the leaves are going to be parakeet party. And I'm going to rip this side so that side doesn't even need to be colored in really. Do some tearing of some paper. I don't know how far over I'm going to go. Okay, let's do the leaves. Parakeet Party Dark. Such a pretty color. <clears throat> so I was talking about, I talked about the starter kit sale being ending today. The paper paper sale is ending today. Um, I have a list of things I wanted to share. So much going on. Let's see. Um, yeah, where'd my list go? Do, do, do. It's buried under my card kit. <laughs> the paper sale, the on online, the joint, the starter kit, um, the online exclusives. Oh my gosh. So we got, as demonstrators, we get to see product ahead of time. And I don't know if you're watching as a demonstrator and you saw the um, Creativity Now event with the truck. Oh my gosh. There's a truck punch. I'm so excited. And it's a bundle with these cute little stamps that are um, seasonal. They're, they're different occasions. Great for different occasions, but it the truck punch matches. It's called the trucking along bundle. And I'm telling you, this thing's going to sell out. I'm sure of it. I am like, I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's so fun. My, one of my first wood stamps was a truck with all the little different things you could put in the bed of the truck and the little people. I still have that set. I probably will. That's part of my collection. I will never get rid of. I love it. So I'm glad they're doing it because it gets me excited to want to get that stamp set out and play with it again. Um, so that's July 6th. If you if you are interested in that, jump on that quickly. Um, and then there's bonus days coming out. I just, I just saw today. Bonus days from July 6th to July 31st. If you're a customer or if you're purchasing... Um, you will earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend, I believe. There might be other qualifying ways to get earn those coupons. And there's no limit to how many coupons. And you get to redeem them in August. So, um, And, you know, the, the mini catalog is coming out in August. So what a great time to... I didn't leave room here. So, oh no, I don't need to leave room. That was my other card. I'm getting them confused. Let me look at this. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to tear this. But on this card, I tore it too short. So I'm going to tear it. I wanted to see how this is cut. This is fun little paper. I don't know if, can you see that? This shimmer paper. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I didn't order it, but I got it from uh, doing a, a, an event with 
they're linked by ink friends and um when i saw this card class these card kits that Rhonda wade shared with us um that was in there i'm like oh i have a piece of that i can use it so but it's cut straight on one end and diagonal on this end and it's supposed to go at the end here at the, so i tore my paper too short so i want to tear this so that this goes over it so i want to go right about here so i'm going to start tearing and i'm just going to kind of go zigzag all the way down to get some fun effect here kind of at an angle not much of an angle just a little bit of an angle like that so there's my piece of my background okay and that's going to get glued on to the black which is going to get glued on let's start adhering this together um well i'll stamp my inside when i'm done i'll stamp my inside now stamp first then stick the golden rule and i put on this one you can do hard things and i also put there's you can do hard things united navy And I also added another one. Um, sending lots of hugs underneath there. I really love this. Stay upset. It's really cool. There, we've used every single stamp now in that set. Okay, hopefully it all dries before I glue. <clears throat> Thank you, Sheila. <laughs> This is a fun, easy card class. I can't believe how easy it went together. I'm not used to this. I'm used to, you know, avid stamping and, and making things really difficult. And um, I'm learning a lot with Rhonda Wade. So <laughs> I get to, um, the or just a little. Okay. And then this is going to get glued on. And I just received my order today. My pre-order. Really pretty Christmas paper. I can't wait to use it. Do you guys want to see it? I can show you what I got in my box after I'm done here. Um, <laughs> okay, and then this is going to go on here to there. I'm gluing that down as well. So with this card kit, you get these three cards, two of each, free with your purchase, $35 order in my store. Go to my store, here's to djewelstampinup.net. Okay, and then this is going to have dimensionals. Where'd you go? Dimensionals are right here. I'm going to use two for this one. It's not as long. And I'm going to go a little bit above there. Yeah, I like this one. I like this card better than my other one. And then I need, oh, I have my my little um, Parakeet Party metallic ribbon. <clears throat> so that's here. So I'm trying to figure out how to do these. I'm learning how to do these card kits to go and have them be awesome. There's a young lady I follow, Melissa Faust and she has trained us in our training on how she does it and um wrapping my head around all the details is a lot but I couldn't wait I I was trying to get everything done and I just was like nope I gotta go live today <laughs> I've got to share these cards now because if I don't do it it won't happen so it's happening um yeah Okay, now I need a glue dot. I'm gonna put that on with the glue dot and these cards will be done. So pretty, so fun, so easy. And people love card kits. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm you know, learning and I like them too. There we go. So there you go, there's your three cards, six cards. Let me close up my ink here, show you them all. I really, I like this one. My, I think this one's, I don't know the black, black's my favorite or this one's my favorite. I really like them all. 
there you go. Very fun. So, okay, so let me show you what I got in my box really quick because this is some new stuff that's coming out. Um, <clears throat> that up there. And, well, I got this. This isn't new, but I got Petal Park Punch. I got some adhesive, of course. My stamp and seal refill and my green glue. And then I picked up, I'm slowly getting all of the new stuff because, you know, they came out with so much new stuff at once. It was hard to, you know, you got to watch what you spend, right? <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Um, so the, I got the dark, I got the pecan pie blends, the lemon lolly. I can't wait to try these. Oh, and the light peacock. I got the peacock blends. I could do that black card with a peacock now. Pretty peacock. So... <laughs> I had to use what I had. Use what you have, right? Oh, we got some really fun bling. Bling. I like bling. I got this embossed brick 3D embossing folder. I can't wait. I love, I love the brick stuff. I got the Hey Chuck <clears throat> stamp set. The bundle is not available because the dies are out of stock, but I believe this is coming back in July. The, um, the dies, but I didn't want them. I, I think I'm just going to fussy cut. I got to pick and choose, pick and choose what I want. Right. And then, um, these are gorgeous, um, adhesive backed sparkle gems with the silver and black and gold. It's so pretty for, for Christmas. I see this is really going to be pretty. I got a couple of these tinsel gems, <clears throat> the colors on here. I believe that's um, Misty Moonlight, um, Fresh Freesia. What is this one? It looks minty. I can't think of the name of that one. It's not on the package. Anyway, and then I got these gems. These are the Tinsel Gem 4-pack. There's another color under there. And the colors are not. Why don't they put the colors on there? And then these awesome, look at these awesome snowflakes. For Christmas. Yay. I'm excited. And I, of course, I picked up, this is, um, online exclusives, the new Christmas six by six paper. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. So we've got all of these. Look at that little fox. <laughs> this paper is, oh my gosh, so fun. I love that one. Um, so I can't wait to get this with the truck bundle. And make some Christmas cards. Yay! Oh, super, super fun. So I think I'm going to have to do a card class to go with this paper in July. So that'll be coming next because... Okay, and then the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's hard to, you know, you want to use the one side, not the other side, right? Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> Oh, wild. That's cool. I'm looking down from above. Pretty. You gotta love that background paper right there. Oh, look at the deer. <laughs> He's so cute. I get excited. <laughs> it's the little things that bring me joy. That is fun, too. I really like that fence and the shadow of the trees down there. Oof. I can see this for scrapbooking. Really fun paper. So, uh, and I grabbed the gingham, the country gingham. And um, this is really cool paper. Is there, there's other, I want to say, I feel like there's another print to this. Let me see if I can find it. Um, unless, uh, I, I think there's something different that I don't have in here. Anyway, that's the country gingham paper. And then I got a stack of the brights. Um, these are the brights designer series paper. And then I got some basic white thick cardstock cause I was out. I was running low. So that's everything. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.
and uh you know let me know if you're interested in um getting this card kit all right great have a good day bye bye